Um, so we're gonna start. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We're gonna just uh, go through a quick interview just to add to our How to Be series at Evolved. Thank you so much for participating. How are you doing? Doing okay. Okay. Uh, new, new reality. <laughs> yes, for sure. So why don't you just walk us through your current circumstances, like such as kind of, you know, where are you? What about your work? What about your children? What's going on with everybody? If you could just share that with us first. Yes. So we have a home out on Long Island. So we left the city to um, quarantine out on Long Island just to be a little bit safer and also to have a little more space for the kids. Um, I am a physical therapist who works in the school systems, so all of my schools are currently closed. Uh, I have one client with a baby who lives in a shelter, and we are trying to figure out a way to do telemedicine, but that is um, challenging because of situation and getting her the appropriate forms that she needs to sign and that stuff. So I'm pretty much not working right now other than email communication and just trying to support families in that regard. Um, but then I'm homeschooling my three kids, um, which has been interesting. I wish they all had their own iPads right now, which I've never wished for before, but um, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have enough electronics. That has been a challenge. Yeah, sure. Like um, an unexpected one, right? An yeah. unexpected challenge. Not something I ever thought I would be like, oh, I wish I had more electronics. Mm. Uh, but yeah. Um, wow. But it's going, it's going okay. I, okay. I tell everyone, we have a dog who loves social distancing more than anyone because we're all home with him all the time and he can go out whenever he wants. He is incredibly happy. Oh yeah, I bet. Oh my goodness. So tell me a little bit about your typical day. What is that like? So we've been trying to keep a routine, at least Monday through Friday. So I get the kids up at eight, which is obviously later than they normally would, but they're up at eight. We have breakfast. My husband is here working from home as well. Um, we do have like a little office set up for him, which is good um, because he has full days working from home. Um, have breakfast and then we do some work. We have a little break time right before lunch, which we're calling recess, where they're required to take the dog for like a run and run around outside for a little bit. Um, and then we have lunch and do a little more work. We have all of their instruments here. So we are having drum practice and piano practice and violin practice. Um, and we have giant stacks of books. So they're doing a lot of reading in the afternoons. Uh, and that's that's about it. And then uh, they've started setting up like some Zoom play dates with classmates and stuff like that in the afternoon or different projects. Yeah. Makes sense. That's great. Um, so in terms of like this time, can you tell us about like a high moment, sort of something that's been really, really wonderful and maybe something that hasn't been so wonderful during this time so we could all learn from your experience? Yeah, sure. Um, so the thing that my husband and I have both noticed um, that has resulted in us all, sort of all being home and everyone kind of coming together in this crisis is we've talked a lot more with our friends who don't live in New York City, um, in part because New York City is in the news so much right now. Uh, a lot of friends who we haven't talked in a while are reaching out. Um, but we've been able to sort of restart conversations with people who we hadn't spoken to in a long time, which is fun. Mm. Uh, and my kids as well, like they're on the phone right now with their friend from Michigan. Thanks to even call them. Mm -hmm. That part has been surprising and has been good. And the challenge, ooh, I might be frozen. The challenge is that our internet is terrible. <laughs> um, I think you're good. You're good. Yeah. I really of time that they are required to be on electronics mm. okay good the amount of time they're required to be on electronics um i have this still like Oh, we just lost, but that's okay. She's coming back. 
No worries. Turn, see, I'll turn it down, please. Okay, sorry, I think That's I lost it. Don't worry, don't worry. I know, it's, a, it's really like when the internet is down, it's down. It's sometimes just part of what we gotta roll with. It's all good, all good. So um, I can hear you, I think, if you wanna- Am I back down. on, are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I yeah. Cannot... Maybe if we if we stop the videos, maybe we can hear each other better. I'm not sure. Is this okay? No. Not sure. How's it going on your end? Let's try to connect one more time. There we go. Hello. Hi. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I it's think just Zoom part of yeah. Out. It's just yeah. It's part of it's part of all of this, all of the joys, right? <laughs> yes. But that's okay. We can I, hear I you. Do think yeah. There we go. Okay. What? We're back. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I do think, um, yeah, finding appropriate online platforms is yeah. a really big challenge right now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And also, like you were saying, just having the kids on the electronics, at, you know, is, is a challenge, right? A lot. It's, it's a lot of time. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so yeah. what, what kind of um, parenting tool are you using right now that you feel has really, really been super helpful during this time? Oh, um, so we made a behavior, a uh, color chart for my younger two kids because they have color charts at school and I'm not like super great about moving it, but it, it does work if they're like being really bad and I say I'm going to move them down on the color chart. That has actually been very successful. Hmm. Um, and the older one, I mean, still he needs the electronics for school, but he can get his work done pretty fast. Uh, so most of the time it's pretty optional that he's on it. Mm -hmm. And so taking away electronics is still very effective. Very effective. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, totally. Totally. Um, so the name of this series is the how to be series. So if you were to sort of give anyone advice as to how to be at this time in closing, what would you say? In closing, I would say, um, you know, take it one day at a time. This will not last forever. And there are some really special parts of it, like being home with your family. Um, it has its challenges, but it's probably, hopefully, not something that we will have happen again. Um, so just to take advantage of that and, um, yeah, try and use the extra time productively. Uh, I am attempting to make bread today. There's, there's a new thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just think um, take it one day at a time and stay connected with people in whatever ways you can and uh, just try to be grateful for the little things. Love it. Well, thank you so much for participating in this. I really appreciate it. I hope you also see the other interviews and find it to be helpful as well. So thanks for being yeah. here. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.